Irish Red Ale is a rich but sessionable beer, and I'm going to brew one up and serve it through my new Nucatap setup. Hi, I'm Martin Keen, and I'm taking the homebrew challenge to brew 99 beers in, say it with me, 99 weeks. Today's beer is a Irish Red Ale, which is a beer that has a little bit of a sweet caramelly taste without being overpowering. It's a, a really nice, enjoyable, refreshing beer. And this is my little package of ingredients of Irish Red Ale directly from Atlantic Brew Supply. Uh, actually, I just did a pick up at Atlantic Brew Supply and I've got ingredients for the, the next four beers here as well. So let's talk about the ingredients for this beer, but, but not here. Ah, that's better. I feel like I need to be standing in front of my ingredients before I can talk about them. Okay, so for this beer, the base malt is pearl malt at 86%. Were you expecting me to say marisata? I think pearl malt gives a little bit more toastiness, which I think is going to work well in this beer. I also have 6% of caramel 45. And we need to address the amber color of this beer, and we're going to get there partially through crystal 120, which forms another 6% of this grist. And then we need a little bit of chocolate malt in this as well. I'm going to go specifically for chocolate rye at 2%, going for an original gravity of 1042, which should give a beer about 4.1%. So my current tap setup. I have four taps here. I've got three of these perlic taps, which I really like, and also a nitro tap here as well. Now, what generally tends to happen is these three perlic taps are constantly in use. I always have a beer ready to put behind one of them. The nitro tap, well, I use this sometimes for nitro cold brew or for serving beer on nitrogen, uh, but very often I don't have any nitrogen or beer gas on hand or a beer style that's appropriate for it. So quite often, as of right now, for example, this thing is non-operational. So I'm going to try a new setup. Now here is the gear that I'm using. Everything was provided to me by Kegland. There is a link in the description. Now I have these Nuka taps. These are stainless steel Ford ceiling taps. So much like the Perlix, because they're Ford ceiling, you shouldn't expect to see any drip issues or, or these things getting stuck. Now there's a, a couple of things I really like about these taps. So first of all, these are intended to be foam reducing. So first pour foam reducing. What that means is the first pint that you, you, you pour out, it should be less foamy, uh, which is a problem I have with my current setup, which is I think mainly just because the beer in the lines is getting warm in between my keezer and my tap. So we'll see how that helps with that. Uh, the other feature that I really like about these things is they are modular. Let me show you what I mean. So this end here screws off and you can replace it. So this is used for, you know, regular old CO2 dispensed beer. I can replace it with this attachment, which is intended for nitro taps and I just screw it in and now I have got a nitro tap. So I can just sort of mix and match as I want. I can have four regular beer taps and then I've got something that needs to be served on nitro. I can, I can easily do that. And in fact, there are other attachments for these taps as well. This is the one that I have and uh, looking forward to using that. Now, the way that I'm gonna connect this all into my system is I have a number of other things here as well. So I've got these shanks here, and these shanks will just screw in to each one of the taps, and they are duo 
Duotite compatible. So I have a bunch of these Duotite connectors and you can literally just click that in there and now I can put in some line. With regards to line, I have five millimeter line. I'm intending to use about 10 feet of beer line for each beer tap. On the other end of that line, I'm then going to attach another one of these duo type adapters. This one is used to connect to my liquid post. So that's the new bling, which I will be setting up in Marquisa. Pops are East Kent Golding. I'm throwing in one bag of East Kent Golding right at the start of the boil. Look for an IBU of about 21. The beers come out at 10.40. For yeast, I'm using White Yeast's 1084, this is Irish Ale Yeast. I'll be fermenting this beer at 68 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius. Right, onto these beer taps. I've never known a love so steady Even gold won't turn your tide We flow together like an ocean Every low and every high and this is the finished setup. I've replaced all of the beer taps, the shanks, and even the beer lines. Now this is complicated a little bit with my system because I have my keys at the other side of this wall here. And then I've uh, drilled a hole in the wall which is running into the back of the keys. So all of the beer lines that are in here have to go down through here, uh, through the wall, and into the keys. So I have my son tugging on the old lines to, to pull them out. And then when we got down to just one line left, I tied all the new beer lines to that one and pulled that one through as well. And that ended up putting all the, the lines in. Then it was just really a case of removing everything that was else that was in here, all of the shanks and so forth. And then installing the new shanks and putting the new taps in and then just screwing back on. The, uh, the tap handles and yes they do all work there's beer that comes out of each one of these taps and I will be putting them to the test over the coming weeks so what have you got there, Lauren? Right here, I have an awesome Irish red ale. Illuminated. Illuminated. Look how much cooler yours looks than mine. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, this, I think this, you know, I hold this up, it's like, huh, it just looks like another beer. But actually, when you uh, provide a bit of color to it, you can really see it's red, right? Yeah, I definitely can. It looks awesome. Although it's like a moth to a flame trying not to look at this light, so <laughs> it's, <blinding. laughs> it's really bright. <laughs> but you mentioned there's such a thing as like LED beer coasters, right? So yeah, um, I actually saw somebody on your uh, comments mentioned it. I can't remember who it was. I'm so sorry, but um, yeah, he mentioned it, and I was like, that's a really good idea. So I told Martin, and he happened to have this in the house, and it's super cool. <laughs> it's definitely not an LED coaster. No. But... Ooh, I can't even yeah. look. Yeah, all right, let's... Uh, let's take it down a notch and yeah. turn it off for now. Oh. <laughs> but okay, appearance, we like the appearance with uh, a bit of assistance. Yeah, it's great, yeah. Okay, all right, what about aroma with this beer? Uh, okay. Not really any sweetness like with the Scottish mm -hmm. beers, Yeah. but uh, nothing sort of hop-wise is, is standing out, which is, yep. I think, really what you'd expect. Okay, um, let's go in for the taste. Please. Now I'm uh, most curious on your opinion here, due to this being an Irish beer, and of course you having Irish heritage. Yes. So uh, this is model of after beers like Killian's, yes, my Irish, right. Killian's Killian's. Irish um, So how does this taste to you? Um, I think it tastes pretty good. 
I feel like I'm put on the spot that I really have to like critique this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so with the sweetness, I definitely would say it's like a caramelly sort of taste to it. Yeah, caramelly, toffee, maybe. Yeah, toffee. Yeah, I can definitely taste that. Mm. Little under notes of it. But not not sort of overpoweringly sweet. Mm -hmm. um, quite quite a smooth tasting beer as well. I know when I've had Killian's um, Irish Red, it is definitely easy drinking, smooth kind mm. of beer. Yeah, like, I feel agreed. like we're getting getting through that. This is a really nice drinkable beer, I think. Mm -hmm. So check out the description. I've got the recipe there, all the brewing equipment there. I've actually even updated my descriptions to include all the camera equipment that I'm using as well. Um, so this is the first of the Irish beers that we are doing. Going to look at a slightly darker beer okay. next week. But for now, Lauren, Slancha. Slancha.